Hey, what's going on? This is Matt and welcome to the channel where we're all about keeping our minds as sharp and strong as possible. Today we're going to discuss one of the best, most underrated supplements that you can use all the time to help increase your glutathione levels. Whey protein is a super popular supplement these days. Many people agree that it's really one of the best for improving your muscle mass, athletic performance, and workout recovery. Whey's correct reputation as a muscle growth enhancer has led many people to assume that it's only good for those who are interested in athletic performance or strength training. However, whey protein is a very safe and versatile supplement that can be used for an array of conditions such as high blood pressure, IBS, cancer, diabetes, inflammation, and age-related muscle loss. Now you may wonder, how does this simple food accomplish all these amazing things? Well, it turns out that whey protein is the top food for helping your body to increase levels of glutathione, which is your body's master antioxidant. Glutathione is so powerful that it can detox things like heavy metals, toxic drugs, and dangerous free radicals. Since whey and glutathione go hand in hand, whey ends up being one of the top foods for keeping your mind firing on all cylinders throughout your life. According to Dale Burdesson, author of the New York Times bestselling book, The End of Alzheimer's, Quote, low levels of glutathione can contribute to inflammation, toxicity, and loss of support for synapses, and therefore to all three subtypes of Alzheimer's disease. Now, whey protein can help your body create glutathione because it contains ample amounts of all three amino acids that are necessary for glutathione production, and that is L-cysteine, glutamate, and glycine. Whey also contains a very bioavailable compound called glutamyl cysteine, which is actually the combination of glutamate and cysteine, which is very readily converted by your body into glutathione. And if that weren't enough, whey also contains some crazy scientific sounding stuff like immunoglobulins, lactulferrin, and alpha-lactulbumin, all three of which assist your body in glutathione synthesis. Now that we know exactly how whey protein assists your body in maintaining health, here are a few things to keep in mind when you're sourcing, just to make sure that you get the best quality possible. Number one, look for organic whey protein when possible. This will make sure that it has less pollution such as insecticides, herbicides, growth hormones, and antibiotic residue. Number two, make sure your whey protein is grass-fed if at all possible. This makes sure that the cow has the correct fatty acid content and will actually make for a more nutritious product. Number three, make sure the whey protein that you purchase is cold filtered, which helps to keep whey's fragile molecular structure intact and therefore maximize nutrition. Now, as far as whether to get whey protein concentrates or whey protein isolate, the research has indicated that they're pretty similar with regard to their health effects. One last thing to keep in mind with regard to whey protein consumption is simply moderation. It turns out that the human body only needs so much protein, and if you get far more than that, it can actually be detrimental to your kidney health. And that concludes our video on whey protein and glutathione synthesis. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to hit that like button below. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and look forward to seeing you next time.